Where does light come from? Written and illustrated by Russian Pear, Arisha would be written. Early one morning, Sam woke up to his mother's voice saying, Get up, lazy boys! It's time for your breakfast! The sun is shining brightly outside. Sam slowly opened his eyes and see beams of light shining through the window. He sat there for a while and then wondered to himself, Where does light come from? then decided that maybe his friends from the science detectives could help him solve the mystery. But first, he went to the kitchen where his mother had made his favorite meal, a clean saltfish with fried dumplings. Suddenly, the place became very dark, so his mother had to switch on the light. Oh no, it's raining outside. No plane for you today, Sam's mother declared. Sam got a bit sad. Then he remembered he had a mystery to solve. It's okay, Mo. I have something to do today, Sam said. Well, before you start, you need to help me to work the dishes. Then you can go ahead and play, his mother explained. After washing the dishes, Sam went to his playroom to find his friend Bob the science detective. He went and got his magic science book, opened the pages, and whoosh, Bob, his friend, appeared. Hello, Sam. How are you today? I'm fine, Bob. Could you help me find out where does light come from? Yes, I can. But first, you need to turn on the light in here. It's very dark. Did you know that light helps us to see things clearly? Yes, I do. But where do we get it from? In the day, we get the natural light from the sun. And in the night, there are other stars that give us light. The sun is the main source of light. The sun shines so brightly and in the night we get it from the stars and the moon they give us their own light Ooh, lightning it was so bright that's right Sam lightning is another natural light did you know that even animals can be a source of light fireflies tails are natural source of light as we can see it in the dark is the bulb a natural source of light Ooh. No, Sam, not at all. Bulbs are man-made sources of light. That means people made them. Very good, Sam. You are becoming a good detective. Do you think you can find more man-made lights around the house? Yes, Bob. I can see a candle, a lamp, and a flashlight. Very good, Sam. You are learning. Those are examples of man-made lights in the home. Oh, thank you, Bob. You have really helped me to know more about lights. Before long, Bob had left, the room became very dark, and there was a lot of thunder and lightning outside. <coughs> Electricity went. Sam became very frightened and called for his mother. Mommy, mommy, I cannot see anything, Sam cried. I'm very scared of the dark. Come and find me. Sam then saw a very bright light coming towards him. His mother had a lantern and said, Sam, never mind, everything will be all right, his mother said. Sam then remembered what he had just learned about light from his friend Bob. He started to feel better as his mother came into the room with the lantern. He asked his mother if he too could get a man-made light to help him see in the dark. Later that night, Sam shared with his mother all the things he had learned earlier about light. Sam declared, as of today, I will never be afraid of the dark again because there are many sources of light that can help me see. Natural sources of light. Sun, stars and moon, fireflies, lightning, man-made light sources, lantern, bulb, candle, flashlight. Can you think of any more? Thank you for watching. This was done by Rushing Pear for Education and Technology Class 2015. The